Uh, growing up in pre-1994 South Africa was such that uh, even though there were opportunities, uh, those opportunities had massive limitations in terms of geographical exposure. You know, you'd be exposed to a limited space, but uh, as it relates to post-94, there's been a developmental path wherein individuals now play in a much more bigger space as well as in the international arena. I think that's, that's the major difference between the two. Oh, all right. Um, did you try to change the situation though, like the way that you lived and the way that you were involved in some other things? Well, look, uh, 20 years ago and today uh, offer different uh, scenarios by their very own nature. There's been a development of quite an array of things in South Africa. Uh, Pre-1994, South Africa was not a member of the international community. Uh, we're now living in times during which we are now part of the broader global community and the global community no longer look at South Africa as a problem, mm. but as a member of the family. Yes. All right, and what changes have you not, uh, have you witnessed over the past 20 years since well now we're celebrating the 20 years of freedom and democracy in South Africa? I think there's been economical, social, and infrastructural developments within the context of the country over the past 20 years. And I think uh, that in itself marks a contrast between pre-1994 and the current uh, times. In addition to that is the reality that, uh, like I said before, South Africa is a member of the global community. And that in itself offers us as a country and as a people a number of opportunities for cultural exchanges, you know, economic development opportunities, social transformation initiatives, and other global community uh, developmental aspects. Um, what particular experiences that stand out in your mind that reflect for you the change in South Africa now that we're in 20 years later? I think there's been a phenomenal event that took place in South Africa in 2010. Oh. That South Africa was able to play host yes. to the FIFA 2010 Soccer World Cup. We will remain you know, something that will be patched in my memory yes, for yeah. a very long time. <laughs> if that were to happen again in Africa, I don't think it will be during our lifetime. I think one, one can only hope that as a country, as a people, and as a community, we can invest more time and more energy towards ensuring that we uplift the educational levels of our people because there's nothing that beats education. Mm -hmm. And I think we upskill them in the right way so that we become competitive in the global arena.